T from Steve's Locksmith Shop. I was going to do a little review on this is the Freeman Express. And I'm actually on one of my service vans. That's my Freeman uh, number two uh, code machine on the Freeman Express. And believe it or not, I got a fully bell saw. I leave this on the van. It's set up with a flat steel cutter. Uh, I don't cut this van, I don't cut a lot of uh, safety deposit box keys or anything, but. Once in a while you have to, and I had this machine laying around, put it on here, and it does cut a nice key. So, uh, anyways, just thought I'd show you that one. And, uh, but anyways, this Framing Express is a high-speed uh, commercial duplicator for uh, duplicating large volume uh, volumes of keys. It does have a control handle here. You could also move it to the front. You could switch it however you wanted. I like it here at the back. Um, one thing is the jaws are calibrated so the bottom uh, shoulder on the key all you gotta do is slide it in and then tighten it up Let's see if I can do this with one hand okay um, then it does have a, a key gauge for lining up the keys up top if it doesn't have a bottom shoulder uh, which is a, actually a super nice one spring loaded it's a real thick it's not cheap uh, super high quality um, the body of the machine is a cast aluminum, very thick cast aluminum. Uh, it uses a, a, let's see if I can show you here, very large motor, same one they use on most of the framings. And uh, it's a high speed uh, cutter. Let me uh, pull the key out, we'll cut one real quick. Show you how good it works. Let's see, SC1. There go. Clamp this in here. Now, what's neat about these, uh, I don't know, let's see if I can tighten this up with one hand. What's neat about these um, jaws, let's say this handle was in this upper spot. All you gotta do is lift on this and you can move it in any spot you want without tightening or loosening it. Just get them out of the way. So it's really cool. Um, down here is the release to engage it. Okay. I'll put it right up there, and this is the on switch. And basically, that's all there is to it. That's a perfect key. Um, just, just a super nice machine. Uh, one thing about these framing machines, they're a generational machine. When I say generational machine, you buy one of these machines and you're passing it on to your kids that are taking over your business and they still work. For example, I bought this machine used many years ago and you could always tell if you go look at the serial number here, let's zoom in, the first two digits of the year that it was manufactured. So this was a 75. Yeah, is that awesome? And this machine works freaking awesome. Um, I got it set up with the Asa, this is my commercial van. This is set up with the Asa cutter on it. Uh, so there's different cutters on uh, the number twos. This one here has a uh, real uh, pronounced uh, flat. So we just have to do a single plunge. You could actually cut the asses with a general purpose cutter, but you'll have to move like two or three thousandths on either side of the of the um, of it to widen out the cut. With this cutter, you just pull right in. So you can get from frame and specific cutters if you cut a lot of keys. Um, and then up here, I got the Medco cutter and a few of the other other cutters. But normally I leave the general purpose in it. I was just doing a big Asa job, so I have the Asa cutter in there. But anyways, back to the Freeman Express. Um, like I was saying, in this one here, I actually bought this one used too. And this one is, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. Turn on the light, let's see. I don't even see the light. Uh, okay, this is a 1992. So, you're looking at two super old machines on my van, they're used every day. Uh, this is one of my service vans that's on the road every day. And uh, they work perfect. And and they're just awesome machines. So anyways, the moral of the story is if you wanna buy a machine that um, stands the test of time and is a generational machine where you could pass it on to whoever buys your business and it's as good as the day you got it or pass it down to your son. Um, one thing about these framing machines, you could actually be a locksmith part-time, put this away in a storage unit, 15 years later pull it out and it still works like the day that you had it. 
Um, the only thing is, is once in a while you have to replace the belt on it. You know, um, not a big deal, super easy. But and then uses these spacer blocks for uh, determining the spacing on the on the um, cuts, depending on if it's a if it's a um, like a Slage 150. Anyways, and there's different spacer blocks you use. But they lock in there, so they're not flying out in your van or anything when you're going. If you set the machine up for slage or whatever, and you leave it set up, you don't have to reset it. It's already set up, and you just go right to it. You know, right to your cuts. But anyways, I decided to show you this uh, Frame and Express. If you guys are... One thing about the, the framing machines, you could buy one of these machines. Just a piece of crap, old looking could have some rust on it and you take it home and you clean it up and the thing's just a beautiful working machine and uh, so don't be scared to buy one of these things used uh, I've, I've bought several of them used before I've never had a problem anyway Steve from Steve's Locksmith Shop signing off